What is up, everybody? We are back. It feels so great to be moving around again, doing some work. I'm still unable to do any manual labor for the rest of the month, but that leads me to today's video, which is subcontracting jobs. And just a beginner's perspective, um, I'm not a business advisor. This is just my simplistic version of subcontracting jobs that I've been doing to help bring in income while I'm not able to do any manual work. So with that being said, the first thing you have to do in the state of Florida is be licensed as a general contractor or partnered and working underneath a general contractor. I am blessed enough to be a part of Huffman's Consulting and Investment Company. They are general contractors who invest in small businesses and also build homes. So that allows me working under their license to subcontract work. After that's all squared away, what you really need to do is build a relationship with these specialized professionals. Um, for myself, I, I don't do any roofing, I don't do any extensive plumbing, I don't do any extensive electrical work. So right there are three different tradesmen and professionals that it would be a good idea to build a rapport with. So right when my knee surgery happened, I had a client of mine ask if I could have somebody do a roof repair. I had never subcontracted a job before. I had just um, referred people. So I reached out to my mentor and he kind of talked me through it a little bit and I contacted his roofer and he came out, gave me an estimate. I was able to relay that to the customer and schedule the work. They came out on the day that it was planned, did the work, everything went great. At the end of it, um, I had already been paid by the client. I paid the roofers. Everything got done perfectly. Then later on, that same client asked if I knew a company that could install gutters. So again, I reached out to my mentor. It's so important to have one of those in business. Um, and he gave me a contact for a gutter ins installer. They, we did the same thing. The customer wrote me a check. I handled all payments, all scheduling, so that the customer really didn't have to do anything but approve the estimates and write a check to me who he already trusts. So that job went perfectly. Then I was home thinking about, man, I really hope that I'm able to get a couple more jobs this month that I can subcontract. Really, it's crazy how God works because right after I got done thinking that, Bing, I heard a Bing on my phone and Angie's List had requested a roof repair. And I thought, this is great. I've already done one job with my roofer. I trust him. He's doing great work. Um, let me contact them. So I contacted them. He said, yeah, these are the days that I can come out, give an estimate. I reached out to the client. She was so happy at how quickly I had returned her quote request. And we're going out today to take a look at the job and give an estimate. And all I'm really going to be doing is is kind of liaisoning this whole thing along. I'm gonna be speaking with the client, I'm gonna be talking with my roofer, relaying the information, writing up contracts and estimates, and then once they're approved, allowing the roofer to do what he does best, which is fix roofs and re-roof. And I'm gonna do what I can do right now, which is just help that process go along easily in any way that I can. So. That's kind of a simplistic version of subcontracting. I'm very new to this, but I thought, you know, sometimes you'd like to hear from somebody who's at the same level kind of as, as you are, maybe somebody new. It's great to hear people that have done it a million times and know everything about it, but sometimes it's cool to hear from a guy that's kind of just starting out of subcontracting work. So I hope this helps. Like always, like this video so other people can find it. Leave me a comment of how you got started subcontracting work to bring in semi-passive income. And like always, subscribe.